this is how to get premium or private videos to work with MPV. So first thing I'm going to show you is an example of it not working. So let me pull up Chrome, pull up any random anime. As you can see, episode 1 through 3 do not require a subscription, while 4 through 11 require a premium subscription. So we're going to drag over the URL, give it a second to download. And as you can see, in a second, episode 1 works and downloads. And then it's going to skip to episode 3. And you can see it downloads perfectly fine, but once we skip to 4, it automatically skips to 5, then 6, then 7, and it's going to keep doing that until it goes to episode 11, since episode 11 is the last episode, and then crashes. So the way to fix this is we're going to download an add-on. So we're going to go to Chrome Web Store, and we're going to download getcookies.txt, and if you're on Firefox, you can download export cookies. So we're going to add this to Chrome. Then I'm just going to pin it. Well, first you want to sign in to your uh, to whatever website you're going to be using. For me, I'm just going to be using Crunchyroll.com. As you can see, I'm signed in. Then we export the cookies. Oh, you can see my previous example of it. We're going to go to our downloads folder. We're going to rename it to cookies. Cookies.txt. Then we can cut it. And then we're going to go to our documents folder. We're going to paste it in here. Oh, let me replace it. So place it in here. We're going to copy it, copy its copy as path. So we're going to copy the path. Then we're going to go to our MPV folder, MPV, and we're going to open up yt-dlp.conf. We're going to pull this up. Let me zoom in. Then we're going to add hyphen hyphen cookies space. Then we're going to paste that in there. We're going to get rid of the commas. And we're going to replace these. We're going to replace these uh, forward slashes with backward slashes. Oh, wait, these are forward slashes. The other ones are backward slashes. I'm not sure if I said that wrong. So we're going to save it. Then we can close it. And now MPV should work just fine. So MPV. Drag over the URL. So MP episode one worked fine. Now let's skip all the way to episode five. Oh, let me resume it. And episode five works just fine. One problem that you might have is manually set the subtitle track a quicker way to do this is let me show you an example is we're going to go to mpv we're going to make a new document text document and we're going to call it mpv.conf once we've done that let me zoom in and what we're going to add to this document hyphen hyphen slang en oh hyphen US. Then we can save it. Open up MPV. And as you can see, the subtitles work automatically.